I decided that I would never, ever set foot inside a tournament complex ever, ever again. And if you're a travel ball owner, you're a travel ball coach, and uh, you get easily triggered when people speak up against the travel ball industry or travel ball itself, then please stop watching right now. I have found that this type of content and the things that I say are very triggering, and I don't want to trigger you. Um, but if you're interested in learning a little bit more about my story and the moment that I decided to stop completely stop running travel ball teams. Here's my story. So it's October 8th, 2018, 5 30 AM. I wake up on a Sunday morning, San Francisco, Laurel Heights apartment. I drive 101 South to the Twin Creeks tournament complex in Sunnyvale, California. It's 7 AM. I get there. I got coffee in hand. The sun is barely up. I go through the gates uh, to the tournament complex. I see the tournament provider. He, uh, he reminds me, he doesn't say hi, reminds me that I owe him some money. I'm like, oh, okay, whatever. Get to the dugout uh, and I look across the way and on that day I'm, I'm coaching my 9U AA team that we were, we were really green we were just starting out and we were pitted up against a majors team from Gilroy that was wearing black and neon green uniforms they're pitted out there hitting wiffle balls their coaches got handlebar mustaches and pop bellies and I knew on that day that my boys were in some big big trouble the game starts and after about 15 minutes, we're already down seven to one. A few innings go by, it's 8.45. My kids start to run out there, top of the fourth inning. And umpire goes, nope, up, oh, that's the ball game. That's the ball game. I'm like, come on, man. Like, well, let's just play some ball. It's early. We still got like an hour and 45 minutes left of game time. He goes, nope, nope, that's the rules. And I just remember walking down the line and feeling so demoralized, so dejected, and so upset that all these kids and their sweet families had came, come out to watch a full day of baseball and it was completely taken from them because the tournament providers decided to combine divisions because if you don't know, tournament providers, if they can't fill a particular division with a particular level, they will combine all the divisions just so they don't have to give refunds because as you know, this is a money making industry. And so I had to sit there and explain to those kids that, you know, we lost, we got mercy ruled. I remember thinking in that moment that this was not something that I wanted to be involved with any longer. And I called my coach, my, my other director at, when I walked out of the tournament facility that day and I say, coach fire flame, after this season is done, we will never set foot in a tournament complex ever ever again. We're going to create our own program. Folks, this is the reality of the tournament ball industry. It's a money-making business. They do not care about your kids. They will gladly put you up against a team that is not even close to your division because they don't want to give you refunds because then they lose money. You will play in rain, snow, sleet, the dark, 11 o'clock at night. They don't really care about the well-being of your family and your kids. But not only are you paying with your hard-earned dollars, you're paying with your time, your family time, time that you'll never, ever get back. And look, I get it. There's many families out there that they love this time. They love going out there with their entire family. They get to see different parts of the country, stay in hotels, but it doesn't have to be this way. And for many families out there, it's very expensive. Many families can't afford it. And many families don't wanna lug their entire families out there. Not to mention, there's no real reason to do this. You don't need to travel two, three, four hours to play a team that you can play a double header against right in your backyard. Here in Northern California, we have teams that are driving out two hours to Modesto to play a team that is based 20 minutes away from them. How silly is that? Furthermore, in travel ball, it's a new tournament every single weekend. It's a, it's a fresh opportunity. On Saturday, we're just gonna play everybody, we're gonna hit everybody, and then on Sunday, all of a sudden, it's gonna matter. And then this next weekend, we're gonna do it all over again. And if you win a championship, it's great. And if you don't, it's a failure. Guys, this is not how the world works. This is not how life works. Everything matters in life. Everything counts at the high school level, at the college level, the big league level, minor league level. Every single game matters. You work hard over an extended period of time towards a common goal. You don't get to reset it every single weekend. So what are we teaching our kids by giving them new opportunities every single weekend to go ahead and play for a championship? It doesn't seem to reflect the values that we try to teach in life and in baseball. And it is not how baseball is played at the highest levels. Anyways, folks, that 
that is my story. I hope it resonated with you. Let me know what you thought of it. If you have been involved with travel baseball or if you've experimented with doing other forms of baseball, please reach out to me. I want to hear from you. I want to hear how this resonated. Follow, subscribe on any platform that you use. And if I can ever be of help to you in any way on your baseball or softball journey, please feel free to reach out to me. I love coaching coaches, hearing from parents and sharing ideas. Thanks so much for watching and be legendary.